Hello again everyone and welcome back to Beholder Blissful Sleep. We got the bottle of whiskey for him, so here it is. Now he has a certificate to give to this guy. Right? Yeah. Fancy meeting you here. Talk about the state standards for the statue. Stamped paper. Ta-da! La la la. Quest complete. Let's go look through here because that's one more quest that we have. I should pay him with the mice very soon. He's off getting the micees. Oh, Vlad is in there still. Blah blah blue. Hey Rosa. Oh, she doesn't have anything good to talk about. I wonder if I have to get that health permit and then give it to her, because that's what they seem to be doing a lot lately. Joseph's in there. Stupid kids, get out of these rooms. Let's, see, let's go talk to Lionel again while I wait for the kids to get out of their places. Discuss books. What's your favorite genre? Oh, right, he already said that one. <laughs> Discuss newspaper clippings. You're into criminal stats? Why? Since when is collecting newspaper clippings illegal? I'm a writer. I write detective stories, so this helps me gather material. Uh huh. Discuss the skeleton in the closet. Why do you keep a skeleton in the closet? Where did it come from? You know, Hector, this is my late wife. I love her so very much, so much that I couldn't part with her when she passed away. I just couldn't bury her. I understand that looks crazy, but try to believe me. Her presence comforts me. How do I know you're not lying? You don't. You either trust me or report me. In any case, you think I'm insane. So all I can do is pray for your mercy. I have to think about it. Hector, since you know my secret now, and in in case you decide to not report my peculiar- Please help me. What do you want? I'm not here for long, but leaving without my wife. I need a big suitcase to transport her, and the one I had is ruined. Please help me find one. I swear you'll never hear from me again. Okay. Okay, I'll help you. I don't wanna. Because I feel... He's a murderer. Bye bye, Zlata. Go the hell away. Let me interact with the door, please. Let's put the bed bugs in. Put. Yeah, we're done. Get out of there. Get out. Wait. Uh, I don't think I've fully researched them. Okay, let's go back in and see what we can find. Oops, no! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Where are those children? They're right there. I don't remember if I've gone through their entire place or not. Do you guys remember? Have I done it? Can you tell me? I have not because there was the things. Oh, please go away. Ugh. You always wander in and I hate you for it. I guess I should just go get a run over. <laughs> Klaus, I found out that Zlata isn't your biological child. Hector, out of respect for your age, I won't raise my voice at you. But I will ask you to mind your own business. She means as much to us as any child would to her biological parents. We've tried for so long to have a child of our own. I don't even want to discuss that. Just forget it. Never mention it again. Holy crap! What the hell just happened? Find out what he wants. Did you want something? Oh. <laughs> Bed bugs have infested my apartment. This is unacceptable. Instead of creating art, I'm spending my time scratching myself. With the exception of giving my brush strokes a unique, unretained flair, it's unbearable. 
As if the government sucking the lifeblood out of us every day wasn't enough, I now have to contend with these tiny parasites as well. Do something, Hector, please. <laughs> I'm giggling at it. I, I'm, I'm horrible. <gasps> Take. Good. Let's go talk to this guy. Talk about different remedies. Hello, kind of need your help. Aha, have you finally blah blah blah. Pick up the conversation later. Talk about the effects of the lake row. A potion of yours has killed a man. That can't be true. My potions are 100% safe, assuming you follow the instructions. What instructions? The instructions on the bottle. If the person had read them, he would have known the potion should be consumed only under a full moon. While laying down with one's head pointed north. It's not my fault he didn't take what the label says seriously. Oh my god. Talk about the effects of the marriage or whatever. That warming potion you gave me nearly burned Rosa... But that's what she said. That's what I said it would do, right? It's warming and stimulating. Makes her as good as new. Talk about his work. Right. We did that one. Uh, go talk to him again. Give him mice. I brought you mice. There you go towards something. You're something great. Come here, my pretty. So fat, so cute. Thank you endlessly, Hector. You and your precious order. If you have mice, bring them to me and I'll pay you 250 per tail. Talk about the bags. I fulfilled your request. The bed bugs are in place. Now it's time for you to make good on your end of the bargain. Thank you. You did me a solid. I'm going to sell every last one of my tinctures. Here's your money. Not enough. Jesus. Now what about your help with the love potion? Bring me a personal item of the victim. I mean patient. I need something personal to make the potion work. What she wants. I found bed bugs. I bet Marcus brought them in with one of his bags, even though he won't admit to it. Can you exterminate them? Don't worry, I'll take care of this as soon as I can. Ask what he needs. Medina, that's awful. I found bugs, bed bugs in my bed today. Where did these little pests come from? To solve this problem now, I'll complain about you to the ministry. Bed bugs, where did they come from? I have no idea, and I don't have the time to find out. We're too busy scratching ourselves. If you don't deal with this business as soon as possible, Hector, I'll drag my mattress to the basement of this building. I'll also bring a jar full of cockroaches from the archives and release them into your basement apartment. Calm down, Mark. I'll find a way to help you. <laughs> this is funny. Hello! Return the greeting. Oh. I haven't talked to Maria yet, I guess. Hello. That's what she wants. Did you want something? Hector, we've got enough on our plates as is, and now there's bed bugs in the apartment. Okay, Maria, I'll see what I can do. Talk about fertility bed bugs. Maria, this is none of my business, but I found out you're infertile. That's true. After Slada, I haven't been able to. No, I mean genetically. You have never been able to bear a child. So where did Slada come from? Hector, I have no idea how you found out, but you must keep that to yourself. It would be a dear place for Zal Slada. She's our daughter, even if she's not our blood. I'll do anything for her. Anything. Do you hear me? I hear you, Maria. I beg you, Hector, please don't tell anyone. As you say so right in front of Rosa. Hector, we have bedbugs. How did this happen? This has never happened before. That's terrible. It's a nightmare, Hector. These little bloodsuckers are making us miserable. I try to solve the problem as soon as possible. Please do. Mark is furious. He wrote a letter of complaint about you and is starting to send it. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Knock, knock, knock. Give me your shit so I can get rid of these bugs. I said. And then I have to go into here. Oh, she's sleeping, so I can't go into there. Come on, guy, you walk so fucking slow. Ask what he needs. Hector, I heard tenants complaining of the bed bugs. I have a great spray against them. Trust me, the bugs will be gone in a jiffy. Only f a thousand for one best price in town. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, he's gonna do so much bad. Oh my god, all the bad.
take care of the bed bugs. I don't have enough reputation to fucking. <laughs> Five hundred dollars, so I'll make money off of this. At least there's that. Maybe if I talk to her, she'll get rid of it. Stop coming up with new things, people. Try to record. Uh, how good afternoon, Jean. How are you? Are you still trying to stay at George's? I'm fine, thanks. And yes, I still live in your building. Do you want something, Hector? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, never mind. I was just thinking about adding more flowers to the hallway. Do you think that the hens would like that? If I were to place them here in a corner, for example. Take the purse from her pocket. I don't know, Hector. Flowers aren't my thing. It's up to you. Okay. Let's go talk to our furball. Come on, furball. I want to talk to you. Sell the chemical. Why poison the whole block? I have a great spray for only $500. Kids are so expensive nowadays. There you go. Talk about bed bugs. Have you taken any steps toward removing some? Let's resort to local measures and have an amazing spray for only $500. Oh, it's all about money again. Here, take those despised pieces of paper. Hi, the kitty. Meow. It's a cat, I guess. <gasps> Who is left? I think it's them. See what happened with me. I wonder if I'll be able to see her car her getting run over this time. Look at that pretty thing. guy. I wasn't doing shit anywhere. Nope. Nope. But nope. Oh, I need to... Alright. Let's go down here. Dial the number... Oh, Christ. OK. 
Christ Almighty. Statue, okay. Mr. Maria. Oh, I missed her getting run over again. That's kind of awesome. Let's see. Load. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. See, we're fine. Right? I guess you're just not gonna go on. <laughs> la la la. Let's go talk to her. I think she will be the one to give the bomb to. Who else would I have left to give it to? Slada. Okay, she's going downstairs, I guess. Not getting run over yet. Talk about the love potion. I brought you a personal item. Excellent choice. It'll work well. Wait here for a bit. Done. Give this potion to your victim. I mean to Jean. Make sure she also drinks it. Again, here she'll fall head over heels in love with the person she works for. Nice. Okay. I don't know if she's even home. No. There's Slada. Oh, she won't talk to me. She's playing on the stupid road. Boom! Well, that's horrible. She reached for her dolly. Anticlimactic mostly, but you know. Hope. Oh. Here, we'll go give her the potion. I have an offer you can't refuse, Jean. What would that be? I want to treat you to an invigorating and health and boosting ball of them. Besides, you're offering me this is a little weird. Sweeter. Yay, I don't need those points anyway. You have an entire day work ahead of you, and energy boost could be just the thing to get you through of it. It's also been known to improve one's complexion. So what do you think? 
I have just one bottle of this stuff left. I want to... She drink it. Gross. Who's, uh, they said there was a healthcare worker in our place. Who was a healthcare worker? Housewife, and you're a teacher, you're unemployed, you work for archives, artist. Alright, he's a healthcare worker. <laughs> Oh, he's heartbroken. Oh, no. <coughs> oh, oh, my God. Um, what? Well, I guess I can't sell the, the thing anymore. Did you know that our daughter was hit by a car? I'm sorry for yelling at you. I need your help. She's our beloved child. If you could use your connections to get her, find a real parent, then she might live. Your boss helped with the adoption. Now we can't get an appointment with him. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh man, I don't know what to do. Oh. Knock, knock. Can't believe she destroyed. Fancy meeting you here. Talk about the broken statue. George, what happened here? Jane has turned into a wild tigress. She was divinely beautiful in her rage. Like the lecto or sister, blah, blah, blah. But she destroyed the statue, and now my life is over. She screamed something about love for one's country, for one's work. I don't know what's going on, Hector. The potion you mentioned should have set her heart on fire, flaming with love for me, not the state. I didn't know what would happen either, George. Ah, well, this must be fate. Love runs away from those who chase her and throws herself on the necks of those who run away. Now, Jean, the light of my eyes, my muse, will leave me in this cheerless gray abode. That's why I'm drinking, even though I see no truth in wine, yet I encountered my end with a contemptuous smile and a glass in my hand. Okay. Oh, I need to go get my kitty cat food. die soon, looks like. I have longer to look for the parents than to... Oh. Alright. Kitty, kitty cat. I'll give him some food. Let's see, you got any mices for me? Probably not. I'm not gonna be able to save Louisa or Zlata. We'll sell that one. Who's gonna answer the door? That's 
So when I wanted to answer the door. Well, I guess... I'll wait for him to come out. Nope, he's not gonna... Make a phone call. Day of adoption, August 17, 1978. Biological parents, no information. Search for in the DNA that database is unavailable. Well, can't do that one. We did this one, we know who it is. My goodness, lots of words, and we we did this or we did this one last time. Uh, we'll choose the date with Maria. That's the right attitude. I must go now. I need to rest before her visit. Tell her I'll be waiting in the same place as last time. Sorry, Mrs. Just to get this out of the way. Number. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Come here, come here, I wanna talk to you. Okay. Ask about knowing Bruno Hemp. Do you know Bruno Kemp, Maria? Why do you ask? He's my boss and he mentioned you. I see. I changed the subject if you don't mind. I'd rather forget the circumstances of our meeting. No. I want to talk to you. No, I hate you. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. End of the episode. We will deal with Maria's date in the next one. And... Yeah. Until then, uh, take care, I guess, and stuff. <laughs> uh, see you next time. Bye!